uh, I am Dr. Prashant Nair, Chair of the IEEE TV Advisory Committee under the IEEE Member and Geographical uh, Activities. Uh, I am very happy to uh, represent uh, IEEE TV in this uh, IEEE Education Society uh, Leadership Summit that is happening here in uh, the coastal town of uh, Vishakapatnam, short Vizag in uh, South India. Uh, we are here at uh, Anil Nirukunda Educational Institutions, Vizag. And uh, at the outset, I am very thankful to the IEEE Education Society Young Professionals Ad Hoc Team, uh, whom we are partnering for this summit. IEEE TV is very proud to be able to associate with this very young and vibrant group of uh, young professionals. I am so happy to be amongst them. So uh, again, I want to thank your full team, uh, the EDSOC uh, Young Professionals for this partnership. I want to take it to the next level. So uh, as part of this summit, we have a very distinguished speaker here. Uh, professor Abdul Rahman Ben Silamine from the uh, from uh, French professor from uh, Avignon in France. He's uh, very much associated with uh, IEEE also. So, uh, for the record, I request Professor to <coughs> introduce himself and also talk about your association with IEEE. Okay. Over to you, Professor. Thank you for the introduction. Thank you for thank you for having me here. Thank you for the invitation, and thank you for volunteering for IEEE. Uh, I feel we are in need of young people. This is what you are representing. And uh, within this summit, young people, as I saw, are very representative. So again, thank you. So my name is Abdurrahim Ben Sliman. I am professor of computer science at Avignon University in the south of France. And uh, I was uh, Vice President of uh, IEEE Student Activity in France and also I was in uh, IEEE uh, Board uh, Members of IEEE France Section and uh, I am Comsoc Member and uh, VTS, Vehicular Technology Society Member and in this sense that I am here invited as Distinguished Lecturer for I think in British chapter and uh, I am also involved in several uh, IEEE conference like uh, mainly organized by uh, flagship conference by IEEE console which are Globe Home and ICC so I want to say that uh, this event is going very well again thank you Thank you, Professor. So uh, I had a general query. Uh, I know you're a you know cutting-edge researcher in the field of IoT uh, networks and so on. So what do you think are the most exciting developments that are now happening in the field of uh, IoT and networking in terms of the cutting-edge research that is happening, and how it is going to impact uh, you know the society and how IEEE should you know get involved in these cutting-edge developments to shape the technology. Yes. As you know, I, uh, IoT and Internet of Things are being developed since uh, several years now. It uh, came from sensor networks, wireless sensor networks, and currently we are working on IoT. And even in IoT, uh, some statistics and websites pretend that uh, in 2025, there will be more than 75 billion of connected devices, mm -hmm. more than uh, phone, computers, and so on. And the challenge here is that within IoT, there are a lot of data coming from people, from uh, utilities, coming also from people, and so on. So data privacy is very important and challenging in IoT. So because of uh, the huge amount of data, we need to secure. We need to secure uh, IoT network 
data coming from IoT in order to uh, have such kind of uh, high and strong privacy. This is the main challenge within IoT. So IoT is being more developed and we are investing a lot of money in IoT in order to secure IoT. There are several points that have been uh, studied for security. We have security service of the service, we have security of the gateway, we have security of the device, and the money is there uh, more than uh, 3.1 in 2021. 3.1 billion of dollars put it only for security in total. And it is being growing much and much. For 2025, we pretend to reach more than 30 billion of dollar only invested in security. But currently, the main important thing is that we have artificial intelligence, EA, machine learning, deep learning, reinforcement learning, all these tools will help to uh, give another dimension for IoT and to help in order to have smart and intelligent solution within IoT. So I want to say that we are investing a lot in IoT and currently in uh, AA in order to have a good and strong security level for IoT. Amazing, you know, 8 billion people on the planet and 75 billion devices. Yeah. I mean, technology is so pervasive, you know. So, uh, and IEEE, sorry about this, and IEEE within Comsoc, we have a technical community which initially was established for ad hoc networks and currently it is about IoT. Oh, okay. So they are also uh, putting a lot of efforts in order to uh, develop solutions for IoT, standards and uh, solutions. What about the publications in this area, in IoT? Yes, uh, we have a flagship journal, if I can say this, uh, within uh, IEEE and mainly uh, endorsed by Comsoc. It is IEEE IoT Journal okay. with a higher impact factor. Mm -hmm. And there, there, is a, there are a lot of publication in this uh, file. We started uh, since a uh, few years and now currently we have developed more area mm. in IoT. And we started with three area and by the way I was a uh, area editor of this journal mm. on security and privacy and uh, this journal was initially uh, started by uh, uh, Sherman Chen mm. who, who was also uh, Comsoc president okay. recently and uh, Currently, I am board advisor member okay. with the IoT journal. And there is also uh, another uh, magazine on IoT. Also. What about conferences? Conferences are doing also uh, uh, several, uh, I mean several topics related to IoT. And uh, they mix IoT and uh, also ad hoc. Ad hoc networks. Yes. Yeah. And uh, within Globcom and within ICC, which uh, are the flagship conference with Comsoc, there is a, a symposium where we have only IoT uh, topic. Mm -hmm. Symposium is called the uh, Ad hoc and IoT network mm -hmm. okay. within Globcom and, and, uh, and ICC. Every year we have two conferences within Comsoc. And also it is uh, in VTS, we have also another journal, it is IEEE uh, Vehicular uh, Technology, uh, this is a transaction and we have also uh, several papers coming from IoT uh, okay. field. It's interesting to know where IoT fits into the IEEE universe. Yes. Sony, uh, you have any questions to ask Professor? Yes, sir. So, in your view, what is the future goal for IEEE and how can it be continued to be a leader in the field of electrical and electronics engineering? Yes, uh, this is an interesting question. Uh, IEEE is, the, is being developed, developed more and more and it is also helping 
in several areas. And the, what I want to say is that there are several uh, not developed countries where I think we should help more in order to uh, develop more activity, more research activity, and uh, but in the same, increase the memberships of IEEE. This is important. So IEEE can go with these countries because they have a lot of potential in research. There are a lot of countries for which the access to IEEE is not very easy. And the main thing, if I have to say here, is to help such countries to be involved in IEEE for research, for uh, competitions, for uh, like uh, programming days, or uh, there are a lot of competitions that can be uh, launched. And not all uh, countries can attend the, the biggest conference because it is far sometimes and it costs a lot and so on. So we'll have other solutions to bring this biggest conference to such uh, country, maybe in virtual. Now we, we can do things in virtual. So maybe it will be interesting to have it virtual for uh, several countries that are in it. This is the way to develop IEEE and to help to for membership and to have also to access to the publications, to uh, the news coming from IEEE, etc. Suggestions for young professionals. Yes. So, you know, this is a young professional summit and students also. Okay, so young professional uh, is very important within IEEE and IEEE develop a lot of uh, uh, contests for IEEE young professionals. Mm -hmm. And what I want to say is, is put the effort in uh, your research. Mm -hmm. This is the most important thing. Put your research in uh, doing some uh, useful tools and uh, applications, and IEEE will be probably and surely with you. I mean, when you are, uh, you have excellent product to show. For sure, IEEE will help, and this is what uh, can be done by a young. Uh, don't discourage, be uh, active, be uh, young, uh, active professional as you are, and for sure you will succeed and you will reach a uh, very interesting level I mean, in your research and in your professional research. I have a question on, uh, you know, you have been part of Vahitra Society and how to integrate more activities between the societies and IEEE organizational units, like sections or councils and chapters and stuff like that? How do you kind of integrate more activities? Uh, more activities, uh, I was, I am involved in IEEE Comsoc and IEEE uh, VTS, and uh, we have several activities together mm -hmm. by now. Yeah. We have several activities and people that are in the board of governor for Comsoc, they are also in BTS and vice versa. Mm -hmm. So the activity is uh, from people. Mm -hmm. People should uh, exactly. start this activity. We cannot uh, say that uh, only you are in your uh, society mm -hmm. and you will work only. But fortunately, between this society, I am talking between BTS uh, and Comsoc, there is uh, almost uh, not a uh, strong border between. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So we can have, uh, like for example, publish in IEEE VT, uh, TVT, yeah. Transaction of Vehicular Technology. We publish also on IoT. Mm -hmm. Both journals are one from Comsoc and the other one from uh, IoT, from uh, TVT. And uh, it is uh, working. So in order to interact, maybe we can launch some student activity between both society or three society where we can have joint program and joint contest and maybe collaboration between students in this from this society and students from this society in order to develop the projects because we need each other between this society 
So this is important. Conference also can be. Conference, we can launch some conference that uh, uh, that have the endorsement between, and it is the case now. We can have some conference where we have BTS and we have also Comsoc or uh, Comsoc and uh, CS Computer Society. So we have several, and we can go, go uh, naturally. The collaboration between humans make the collaboration between uh, sister society. Well said. So I will end this interview on a personal note. As you know, I have been talking, I have given a keynote address on the IEEE TV. We also want uh, your videos of the regular uh, VTS uh, Comsoft to be hosted on our preferred platform, that is the IEEE TV. Yes. So I will personally request your uh, support in you know, giving us more content okay. uh, in the IEEE TV platform. No ads, no uh, YouTube ads, no okay. social media. <laughs> disasters are there. So please do. Uh, we, I will write to you and we will work to see how we can bring the IEEE platform together. Uh, talking about this event also, everything, all the events uh, we are hosting only on IEEE TV, they are not putting on YouTube. Okay. So that's what we want. We call it IEEE TV first. Very good. So I take this opportunity again to thank Professor uh, for a very insightful conversation on this, uh, on the, few, the trends in technology and how IoT is going to be very important at the same time privacy is going to be a cardinal issue in terms of the you know the, the smart world that we are on. So thank you very much professor thank and you thanks much to the whole team of the IEEE uh, EDSOC Education Society Young Professional. Thank you. Thank you. Aisha, thank you. Thank you.